Per istam santa munzione, met sua ampissima misericordia, indulce ad tibi dominus quid quid per visum per iquisti. Per istam santa munzione, indulce ad tibi dominus quid quid per iquisti. Amen. Oremos. Are you all right? Every day there's more. Is this God's punishment, Father? There was a time when I would have said it was. Now I only know that it is will. Father, please forgive me, but I, I must go home. Are you sure that you're all right? Yes. It's shock. Lately, I don't know, he's been... Caring for the sick is God's work, but it's a poor substitute for a honeymoon. Go home, Marie. Your husband needs you, too. You should go home, too, Father. Your strength is not what it used to be. One more call. Happily, this one's an affair of the spirit. Something a priest is supposed to be more to treat the La Fievre. Father. Promise me I'll not stay long. I promise. Shock. 
What happened? Let me see. What is it? Doesn't look too bad. Lie still, I'm gonna get you some tea. Here. Drink this. Getting back to Bergeron. What'd you come for? I have something for Dr. John. What you got? Hello, my dear. Hello, my dear. TV Lou Papa. Give me that. I'll take it to you. No! Let's Marie bring it, Dee Dee. Won't you come in, Madame? Petty. I want none of your mischief, Dr. John. You fixed my husband. He made this box for you, and you thanked him by putting a fix on him. Now I've brought it to you, and I want you to take that fix off him. But you wrong me, Madame. At least permit me to compensate you for your husband's services. Perhaps we can find a treatment for him. Coxcomb powder. Sprinkle on a doorstep to get a man. Cobwebs for bleeding.
Egyptian paradise seed. Essence of bend over. Has <laughs> no Hana. Well, wonder root. Hands of time powder. Red devil juice. <laughs> Best who do of a mob, ask, and ye shall receive, he said, just like a doctor doing a fix. Blasphemer. He fixed us good, too, us people of color. The mark of Cain. It is the mark of pride. Read your Bible. In Africa, my father was a great king. Only a prince may wear these. Prince of the devil. <laughs> How do you know my name? I know everything about you, Marie Patty. I know things about you that even you don't know yet. And I know about you, Dr. John. Indeed. I know you're evil. In our religion, evil is the mirror of good. You drink blood and eat babies. They said that about the Christians, too, in ancient times. What happened to my husband? Don't you know that? Vevé, the ball of the serpent, Aida, his lover. What is it? Will that take the fix off him? I can only consecrate it. The Lord have called him. Only the Lord can bring him back. What do they want with my husband? My face. Look through the mirror, Marie. There's another world in there. It is where our souls live. I don't see anything. But you will. You were born in that world. And I can help you return. You can help me by leaving me and my husband alone. Wait! You forgot your payment. These coins have power, too. I can show you how to make many more. Working for you? Working for one of the most powerful families in the city. Doing what? Hair. Hair? Hair has magic. 
Let you get close to people's heads. Look what power it gave Delilah over Samson. You are mad. <laughs> Madame Fouquet, the judge's wife, is looking for a hairdresser. I know you know how to fix hair. Being raised at the convent with all those fine Creole debutantes. Take this to the Fouquet house. Place it beside the door before you knock. Ask Madame Fouquet for a job. And she will give it to you. I will not get mixed up in any of your hoodoo, Dr. John. You best take that fix off my husband or you may be seeing the judge yourself. It's illegal now, you know this. Practice. Ask and ye shall receive, Marie. Ask and ye shall receive. <laughs> Did you take a job from a man like that? Did he pay you? Yes, but we don't need his money. Madame Fouquet? Who are you? Marie Paris. I've come about a job. I'm sorry, but we don't need any help. I was told you were looking for a hairdresser. Have you references? No, but I'm... I'm sorry, but we cannot consider anyone who is not referred. I guess this root ball is a little bit larger than I thought. Why don't you get the gardener to do this? Because this is not a job for a gardener. This is a job for a lover. <laughs> Your mother doesn't mind you working like this? My mother? You are Madame Fouquet's daughter. <laughs> I am Madame Fouquet. Oh, I'm sorry, Madame. Why? You look so young. Well, then it's a compliment. My name's Marguerite. What is it? Well, it's my mother's name. Well, then it was fate that we should meet. And who is my daughter? Mary Perry. You look very familiar to me, Marie. Could we have met somewhere before? I don't think so, madame. Oh, of course. I remember at the New Year's ball. Oh, I watched you all evening. You danced with the loveliest men there. I could see that the two of you were in love. He's my husband now. How lucky you are to marry the one that you love. But, um, why are you here? I heard you were looking for a hairdresser. Madame! 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 What are you doing? You know what the doctor said. You must not tax your heart. What did doctors know about the human heart, Mrs. Saxon? I told you we did not need any help. Mrs. Saxon. Meet Marie Perry, our new hairdresser. 
Don't be foolish, madame. You know nothing of her. She has no references. You have the spring fiesta coming up. You cannot take such a chance. Yes, you're absolutely right, Mrs. Saxon. We must first determine if she's any good. Your hair desperately needs some attention, Mrs. Saxon. You told me so the other day. If I pay her, would you be so kind as to allow Madame Paris to fix your hair first? You are so kind, Mrs. Saxon. Marie, can you see Mrs. Saxon tomorrow? Thank you, Madame. Marguerite. Jacques? Shock? Looking for your man? <sighs> Miss Casbin. He gone. Did he say where he was going? Stop him. Who? Who? Who knows? Who knows? They got him. They're going to get you too if they want you. They're going to get you one way or another. You're a winner now. That's for sure. Mary, Mother of God, help me. St. Michael, capture the evil Dr. John. Mary, Mother of God, help me. St. Patrick, drive away these devils from my husband. Mary, Mother of God, help me. St. James, protect his body from all harm. Mary, Mother of God, help me. Give me good luck and bring me back my husband. Mon père. May I come in? Of course. And where is Jacques tonight? I don't know, Father. You don't know? He's... got home. I should have never left him. Does this have anything to do with your visit to this Dr. John? Then you did see him. Marie, you know what they say about this man. They say he's priest of the voodoos. Priest. He's a heretic, a disciple of Satan. You're a child of God. If you consort with these voodoos, you can lose more than your husband. You can lose your immortal soul. I have not lost my husband. We must pray for Jacques. But he's innocent, Father. So was Eve, until she was tempted by the serpent and fell from God's grace. I still don't understand, Father. If God knew she would fall... Why did he send the serpent? Maybe he didn't know it would happen. Or maybe he knew that it must. Marie, come to confession. Confession is the mirror that cleanses the soul. It is God's way of showing us who we really are. Water and rose petals, madame. All right, but don't put any of that antimony and coffee stain on my hair. I'm not vain about my gray like the others in this city. My husband was a pharmacist, you know. That's why I know all their secrets. All those chemicals they use to keep up the facade. All the henna they use on the ladies who aren't real ladies. And the white lead to lighten the skin of the grip so that they can pass as octoroons and the mulattoes as quadroons. 
I'll tell you there's more black blood in this city than anyone knows. Of course, everyone knows about the mayor's brother. All those nights on Gerard Street. All the little colored babies that took after him. And that yellow woman who passes herself off as the governor's aunt. Marie. You must help me. You must find me. How? Where? Pakbaleba. Is the gate. There would. Look for me there. Which word? Where? God would in the garden of Eden. Bena Oak, the true Jesus shows. Woodpeckers, death birds digging for the secrets of the coffin. Find my money. If you knew where to look, you'd find black blood in just about everyone in this city, even in the finest Creole families, even in the judge's family. That's why he hates the colored. It's why they call him the hanging judge. Madame Petty, may I offer you a lift? No, thank you. Not even to take you to your husband? What did she tell you? Who? Madame Fouquet. I didn't see her. I did her housekeeper's hair. Even better, the old hag knows a lot. What did she talk about? Nothing. She said anything about the judge? Yes. He likes to hang colors. <laughs> Except for when he's in bed with them. You can keep your malicious gossip to yourself. His wife knows, though he keeps her like an invalid. Seems pretty healthy to me. They go to the balls, but she's not allowed to dance. They sit in the balcony and watch the others. While you're there, they can't No even... more. Every society has its codes and rules. But gossip is the common language of the world. Here is where the power lies. And here, knowledge is the source of all power. Knowledge is the root of evil. Don't parrot that ridiculous priest of yours. His power is the same as mine, only his comes from the confessional. It comes from God. It comes from secrets. You mean your power doesn't come from shells and bones? That is the poem, the secret power. The Lord speak through those things. But only for the one who can hear them.
Joli cockroji, vini gro cockroji, mopaku cockroji, zombie, yo yo colombo. my husband. You poisoned him. Some things do not make happen. They happen because they must. Come with me. It is only tea.
Do you know who your grandmother was in St. Dominique? What she was? She was a free woman of color. She was a mambo. She was a ream of the great Mackendal. She had to print, Marie, just like you. It is in your blood. The drum spoke to you tonight. And you heard them. They say either you use the pwen or it uses you. That is why the lower rides your husband. They use him to get to you. What do they want from me? They want you to join our service. My service is to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. How has he ever helped you? That is the white man's religion. Your skin may be light, Marie, but your blood is as black as the Nile. Your true religion is African. You have Didi. Why do you need me? Didi does not have the Puen. If I have this power, as you say I do, then I can use it to get my husband back. Of course, but first you must perform a service for Frida Ursula. Who is she? The Lord of Love, the goddess of purple lips and pink lace dresses, the husband stealer. When you see Madame Fouquet, give this to her. What's it for? Tell her to put it under the judge's pillow, and he will never take another lover. She'll just think I'm silly. She will believe you. How do you know? Because she asked for it. That's impossible. There's a lot about this city that you still do not know. I can't do it. Take it to her, Marie. It is what she asked for. It is what she wants. It is the only way both of you will get what you want. You're going to be the loveliest one there. You are a miracle, Marie. Wherever did you learn how to do it? When I was little, I loved to watch my mother's hairdresser fix her hair. And at the convent school, we did each other's hair for the balls. Convent? You wonder how I was boarded at the convent. It's what my mother wanted. My father, my real father, was a very powerful man. He would have done anything for her. He must have loved her very much. Marie, do you still love me? Of course. Can you forgive me? Just come back to me. Will you take me as I am? Please, my love. Don't torture me. Gede will bring you here. Gede? Baron Cemetery, Mr. Needle, Daddy Snake Legs, Master Crocodile. Ooh. Oh, Julie Cocaldre. Venigro Cocaldre. More Paco Cocaldre zombie. Just lie still, my dear. I'm sorry, madame. Why? You only fainted. I do it all the time. How do you feel? 
I'm all right now, madame. Thank you. You said his name. Is he your husband? Yes. Did I say anything else? No. Marie, if there is something wrong, you know that you can tell me. After all, I'm your mother, remember? Believe me, there's more than one way to lose a husband. But you must persist. It is the one quality that we women have that makes us stronger than men. the only way that we ever get what we want. Baba hen, baba hen. Hey, hey, baba hen, hen. Baba hen, baba hen. Hey, hey, baba hen, hen. King of Buffy Tay, King of Monday Tay, King of Dukey Lee, King of Lee. Baba Hen, Baba Hen. Hey, Baba Hen, Baba Hen. I'm not afraid of you. Hey, Baba Hen, Baba Hen. Hey, hey, Baba Hen, Hen. Anything you can do to me, Dr. John can undo. You think Dr. John wants you for his mambo? I'm not your rival. <laughs> I tell you it was Dr. John sent me. Liar. Why would he want to put a fix on me? Because he knows how you fixed him. What are you talking about? I talking about how you got him arrested after the ceremony. And how you fixed him with the hanging judge. Judge Volkay? That the one. Now that judge found Dr. John guilty on account of his having the hoodoo ceremony and breaking the curfew and all. And he gonna sentence on him tomorrow. Dr. John say, if he gonna suffer, then you gonna suffer too. I didn't know. Ain't no use denying it. Dr. John knows you the one hoodooed him. Gonna see whose power is stronger. <laughs> Caristam Santam Sionem et Suampiissima Misericordiam Indulge at Tibidomius Quid Quid Pervisum Teliquisti. Per istam santa munzione, mentugiati bidominus quid quid te di quisti. Amen. <laughs> she will soon see God, my son. <laughs> Per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Per Omen Di, Per Omen Di, Ti Guili Papa, Per Omen Di, Ti Guili Papa, Per Omen Di, Per Omen Di, Per Omen Di, Per Omen Di. In the name of Jesus, Jesus owes his eye. In the name of St. Patrick, Philosophy, the Balak, and Gary Basanko. In the name of Maluquis, Gabriel, Uriel. In the name of Maluquis, Gabriel, Uriel.
Lord, good shepherd. Pray Jesus help me. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Miseriatur tui omnipotens Deus, et te dimisis peccatis tuis, per tu te ad vitam eternam. Amen. Confess your sins and God will forgive you. I disobeyed you, Father. I saw him again. Who? Dr. John. He told me that he'd take me to Jacques. He fixed him. Father, he fixed him and now he's trying to fix me. You were safe, my child. Satan has no power here. I also delivered a charm. But it was a good charm. All work that is not God's work is evil, Marie. I've told you, if you involve yourself with these people, you put yourself outside the church. You cannot live in both worlds. Forgive me, Father. What is my penance? This is a serious offense. You must say the rosary for seven days and pray for God's forgiveness. And you must promise here before God to never see this Dr. John again. That'll be easy, Father. He's been arrested. Then you haven't heard. What? He was freed this morning. Freed? By Judge Fouquet? No, by Judge Castellanos. No, <laughs> but I thought he was being tried by Judge Fouquet. Judge Fouquet died the night before he was to pass sentence. <sighs> they found some sort of fetish in his room. This vile practice spreads like the epidemic, Murray. But those who succumb to it are worse than dead. They are living dead and they will be damned for eternity. You tricked me. You said the charm would help get her husband back. I made the preparation as she asked, but it was not the preparation that killed the judge. Then what? Don't you know? Listen to the law, Marie. Take the power they give you. Use it. Or it uses you.
Jacques, my love.